Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to migrate a DHCP service from Windows Server 2012 to Windows Server 2022. With server hardware and operating systems reaching end of life, one of the Windows Server roles that we may need to migrate is the DHCP server role. This can be a simple task depending on the complexity of our DHCP configuration. We may be able to manually recreate the scopes on the new server if we only have one or two scopes. But if we have numerous scopes with many reservations, we might be better served exporting and importing the configuration. This is a very straightforward procedure, but first you need to taste it in your taste environment. I am using the taste lab created in Oracle Virtual Box for the demonstration. In our taste lab, we have single domain active directory forest named amaseptivebcast.com. In the last video, we have seen that how we can migrate active directory domain services from Windows Server 2012 to latest Windows Server 2022. This video is also part of the same series and it will show how we can migrate a configured DHCP server from one Windows Server host to another while retaining all DHCP scope settings. We can use this guide to migrate DHCP settings, DHCP scope and DHCP reservation from Windows Server 2012 to Windows Server 2022. Let me show the VMs which we are going to use in this video. This is our Windows Server 2012 VM. This is our old DHCP server which we want to migrate to Windows Server 2022. On this server, DHCP server role is installed and configured. We have three DHCP scopes on this server. Scope 1, Scope 2 and Scope 3. Let me show you the existing DHCP reservation. For an example, I have created two DHCP reservation in DHCP scope 3. Under filter, as we can see, I have enabled deny filter list and I have blocked this MAC address from getting an IP address from our local DHCP server. So we have this kind of DHCP configuration on our Windows Server 2012. Now let's go to our Windows Server 2022 VM. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msfdwebcast.com. In the last video, we have migrated the Active Directory domain services on this Windows Server 2022. In the first step, you have to prepare a new server to which you are going to migrate the DHCP server role. Install the version of Windows Server you need for example, Windows Server 2022. Set a unique host name and IP address and join the computer to the existing Active Directory domain. In this example, I'm going to use our domain controller to host DHCP server role. In the second step, we will use Windows PowerShell to install DHCP server role on this Windows Server 2022. Right click on Start menu and select a Windows PowerShell. Type cmdelete add hyphen windows feature hyphen name DHCP hyphen include management tools and press enter key to install DHCP server role with DHCP management tools on this server. As you can see, the installation process has been started successfully. Wait for the installation process to finish. After DHCP server role installation, we have to complete the DHCP post deployment configuration. In that, we have to create two local security groups that will be used to manage your DHCP server and then authorize the new DHCP server in the Active Directory domain. We can use Server Manager Dashboard or Windows PowerShell to complete the DHCP post deployment configuration. In this video, we will use Server Manager Dashboard. Go back to Server Manager Dashboard, click on Refresh. We can see the yellow notification mark telling us that we need to complete post-deployment configuration of DHCP server role. 
click on notification and now we need to click on complete DHCP configuration. It will create these two security groups, DHCP administrators and DHCP users. It will also authorize DHCP server on our target computer if it is joined to domain. Click next. We are using the account of our domain administrator. So we have sufficient permission to authorize this DHCP server in our active directory domain. Click on commit. The groups has been created successfully and we have also successfully authorized this DHCP server in our active directory. Click on close to complete DHCP post installation configuration. Now go back to our old DHCP server. Temporarily, I'm going to change the lease duration on the DHCP scope to two hours. This will allow our client to obtain IP addresses from the new DHCP server more quickly. Let me show you how we can do that. Right click on DHCP scope and select properties. Currently, the list duration configured for this DSCP scope is one day. Now, change the list duration to two hours. Click on apply and OK to save the settings. I have already changed the list duration for our other two DSCP scopes. Now, let's go to our Windows 10 client computer. I have disabled the network adapter of this Windows 10 client computer. Let's enable it. This client computer is set to obtain an IP address automatically from our DHCP server. Let's see the status. Click on details. We can see the client has an IP address 172.1872.100 and client is getting an IP address from our DHCP server 172.1872.55. Check the lease duration. It is two hours. Uh, let's click on address leases. Okay, here we can see the information about that client computer, uh, which was assigned with the IP address 172.1872.100. Now, let's start the migration of DHCP server role from Windows Server 2012 to Windows Server 2022. The easiest way to transfer DHCP server settings to a new host in latest versions of Windows Server is to use the PowerShell CM deletes export DHCP server and import DHCP server. These commands allows us to connect to a remote DHCP server over the network, export its settings, and import them into a new server. Let's go back to our Windows Server 2022 VM. Go to Windows PowerShell console. Make sure you have access PowerShell console under an account that is a member of the DHCP administrators group. Let's clear the screen. Let's export the configuration of the old DHCP server to the XML file. Type cmdelete export hyphen DHCP server hyphen file c colon slash DHCP data dot XML hyphen leases hyphen force, hyphen computer name, ws2k12-dhcp.msftwebcast.com, hyphen verbose. Press enter key to export the configuration of the ws2k12-dhcp server into file name dhcpdata.xml on C drive. Export operation on our local server has been completed successfully. First, let me open file explorer. Click on this PC and on C drive, we can see we have a one file with the name dhcpdata.xml. Now, using this file, we can import the DHCP configuration on this Windows Server 2022 using the import DHCP server cmdelete. Let's stop the DHCP service on old DHCP server. Let's go to Windows Server 2012 VM. Right click on our server name, all task, and click on stop. This will stop DHCP service on this Windows Server 2012. Go back to our Windows Server 2022 VM. 
Let's go back to PowerShell. Uh, let me clear the screen. In PowerShell, first I'm going to type the command hostname. The hostname of this Windows Server 2022 server is ws2k22-dc. Type cmdelete import hyphen dhcp server hyphen file c colon slash dhcp data dot xml hyphen backup path c colon slash dhcp hyphen leases hyphen scope overwrite hyphen force hyphen computer name ws 2k22 hyphen dc dot msft webcast dot com hyphen verbose Press Enter key to import the DHCP server configuration from the file dhcpdata.xml on server ws2k22-dc.msftwebcast.com. The import operation on our server has been completed successfully. Open Run menu, type dhcpmgmt.msc and press Enter key to open DHCP Management Console. Verify. RDSCP scope, IP leases, reservations, etc. on this server and it should match with the old DHCP server. Let me expand the server name, expand IP version 4 and here we can see we have total 3 DHCP scopes. Let's expand scope 1, click on IP lease and we can see we have the information about the DHCP lease. Uh, let me expand scope 3, expand reservation. We can see we have two reservations. And let me click on filters and we can see the same filter entry is also here. So we can confirm that all three DHCP scopes are present on the server with DHCP reservation and IP leases information. We should also verify that new DHCP server is able to allocate IP addresses by IP config slash renew on client PC or rebooting the workstation. Let's go to a client machine to test that. Open command prompt. Type command IP config slash all and press enter key to see the current IP lease information. Note down the current lease expiration time. Type command IP config slash renew and press enter key to renew the IP lease duration. Again type command ipconfig slash all and press enter key to see the current IP lease information. We can confirm that the lease is extended by the, our new THCP server. Earlier lease was expiring on 10.58. Now the lease is about to expire on 11.10. We can confirm that the lease is extended successfully by our new THCP server. We can also notice new and updated lease informations in the DHCP console on new DHCP server. We can remove DHCP server role from the old server after the verification. Let's go back to our Windows Server 2012 VM. Open PowerShell. Type cmdelete remove hyphen DHCP server in DC. Have a DNS name ws2k12 hyphen dhcp dot msft webcast dot com. Press enter key to unauthorize the local DHCP server in Active Directory. We can see the output of the same delete that the DHCP server ws2k12 hyphen dhcp dot msft webcast dot com with IP address 172.1872.55 has been successfully deauthorized in Active Directory. Type same delete uninstall hyphen windows feature hyphen name dhcp hyphen remove hyphen include management tools press enter key to uninstall dhcp server role with management tools from the local server the removal process has been started successfully after removing the dhcp server role from your server you must restart your server to finish the removal process Type command restart hyphen computer hyphen force and press enter key to reboot the server. After restart, again sign into this Windows Server 2012 computer. Upon login, the server manager dashboard will open automatically. 
Click on Add Rules and Features. We can confirm that the DHCP server role has been successfully uninstalled from this Windows Server 2012 computer. After successful migration of DHCP server role from Windows Server 2012 to Windows Server 2022, now you can remove this Windows Server 2012 computer from your existing Active Directory domain. That's all for this video on how to migrate DHCP service from Windows Server 2012 to Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.